Hi everyone! Here we are one more time with this so-called plate or piece of aluminum foil. I believe this may be the third printing session for this kitchen litho. And the goal of this experiment was to see just how many times I can print it and still get good results. starting to roll up and things are looking good so far. Here's the first print and success. Here comes the second print and it also looks great. Even though in the video it looks like I'm just placing down one paper after the other, I am definitely inking up between every print. Honestly, I'm really impressed with how it's holding up so far. So I'm going to save the plate and print it again in another couple of weeks. And here we are again, maybe for the last time with this plate. I'm really amazed with how many times I've been able to print this, but also the fact that I haven't crumpled the foil so far. Even though this is the fourth printing session, it's still getting good prints. As you might imagine, I've had my fill of printing this image, at least for a little while. I've saved the plate again, and I might get back to it in a few months time. For the fourth printing session, I got 16 great prints. And now you might be wondering, what do I do with these teeny tiny prints on Gampy? Well, I am going to shincole them, which is a fancy term for gluing them to a backing paper. The first step is to trim the excess from the printed paper. The next step is to dampen the backing paper. I'm using BFK Reeves. Now for the glue, I use Yamato Nori diluted with a bit of water.
the print goes printed side down on a piece of plastic film. Next, you have to apply glue to the back while trying your best not to wrinkle the paper. Wipe off any excess glue. Place the paper down on top of the print. And apply pressure. For small prints like these, I sandwich them between thick cardboard to dry. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching.